To be the musketeer against COVID-19, which mask, where and by whom? Today's a little talk, a little chat about the masks. Face masks for COVID-19 prevention are now proved beyond doubt because it spreads by droplets. Masks predominantly are of two types, non-medical masks, which are fabric or cloth made masks like this. You have got the medical masks, which consist of the surgical mask, which filter about three micrometer droplets. And you have got the filtering face piece respirator, which filter more challenging 0.075 micrometer droplets. And it can be available as FFP2 masks or US N95 masks. Okay. And if you really look at the fabric mask, it has got three layers. It is tri-layer. This is an outer layer which is hydrophobic, I made up of polyester or polypropylene. Uh, inner layer which is should be of hydrophilic material, unfortunately this is not. This is a mask which has got a cotton inner layer made up of cotton blends. And in between these two there should be a central layer which should be made up of hydrophobic material. Uh, for example, synthetic non-woven material like polypropylene or a cotton layer which will enhance filtration or also retain droplets. Where and by whom? It is to be worn by everyone in public setting as per uh, CDC and WHO guidelines as because about a meter of distancing is often not possible in such settings and it's mandatory basically in areas of community-based transmission such as pharmacies, grocery stores, markets, etc. It is not to be used by children below two years of age, people who have trouble breathing, unconscious subjects and by people who are unable to remove the mask on their own. Maintenance of the fabric mask mask should be used by only one person and cannot and never be shared. Mask should be changed if wet or soiled. For that purpose, we always want the outer layer to be of light color rather than a deep color because if it's soiled or wet, you can recognize easily. Uh, if the mask is removed in the middle of the day, either discard it or keep it in a sealable bag till it is washed or cleaned. Perform hand hygiene either with soap and water or with alcohol-based hand sanitizer after removing the mask. If layers of this mask look fabric look noticeably worn out, then please discard the mask. How do you wash the mask? It is to be washed in warm water, 60 degrees with soap or laundry detergent. The mask should be washed delicately without friction, stretching uh, or wringing it is not allowed. Where hot water is not available, wash the mask with room temperature water with soap and detergent. And then you can do one of the two procedures, boil the mask for one minute or soak the mask in 0.1% chlorine for one minute and then rinse it with copious amount of cold water to wash off the residual chlorine. Guidance on mask management, perform hand hygiene. You're supposed to wash your hands either with uh, soap and water or alcohol based hand sanitizer before putting on the mask. The mask is to be placed carefully and then adjusted to the nose nasal bridge and tied securely to minimize gaps between face and the mask. Avoid touching the masks while wearing it. Remove the mask from behind. It is to be either from behind the ear or from above the head wherever it is tied. It is not to be touched from the front. If you touch the mask from the front while removing or during adjustment, you are to perform hand hygiene again. Replace the masks when damp and do not use again a single use mask. So single use mask like this should not be reused. Discard and dispose of single use mask immediately on removal according to the waste disposal guidelines. So who are to use medical masks? These are surgical or procedural masks that are flat or pleated like this one and are affixed to the head with straps which go around the ear or head or both. Their performance characteristics are tested according to a set of standardization methods that aim to balance high filtration, breathability and optionally fluid penetration resistance. And this mask should be worn by uh, 
patients who are COVID suspect or are suffering from mild symptoms of COVID-19 or by care providers or space sharing people who are taking care of COVID suspect or mild COVID-19 patients. Now, just look at this. If you put this mask on and people have a habit of pulling it down, but this place normally is not protected. So when you are pulling it down, the inner layer of the mask can catch hold of droplets which have settled here. Or if you put it up, then it might take, touch the droplets which are present on your forehead. And then again, you pull it down. Then these droplets are directly inoculated into the oropharyngeal and the oral mucosa and can lead to transmission. So whenever you're using a mask, keep it here do not put it up or down and then pull it up again. If you have pulled it down, then you remove it and then you have to wash it and then use it again. Uh, thank you so very much for your patient hearing and wish you a very, very safe journey and life through COVID pandemic.